Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So today, let's just get into it. We're gonna follow up to my first vlog, which we were talking about um, setting flexible goals and researching your niche. But I wanted to go into that a little bit more and I also wanted to make sure we were laying it to what's going on in present day. Um, we all know there's a lot going on in the world, especially with COVID-19 and especially in Africa of all places, which is near and dear to my heart. So I want to talk to you guys about how to approach that during these times when it seems like it's almost impossible to start something new. I say that Africa is near and dear to me because some of you may not know, but my family is Tanzanian American. I am African American or Black American, as a lot of people in Africa like to say, and my husband is Tanzanian American. So we are a Tanzanian American family. So Tanzania to me is... I don't know, I'll call it like a first and second home because it's just as much home to us as the states are. I wanna help people here in the states and I also wanna make sure that I'm doing as much as I can to help people in Africa as well, um, especially Tanzania and Eswatini and those are my homes away from home. And I've talked to people and business owners in those two countries specifically. So I want to follow up with what we were going over and the tips that I already provided in my five-step plan that was in my previous blog. So check that out. And we are gonna follow up with that one in this blog right now. So this blog is gonna be about how do you grow your business, especially during a pandemic, which I know seems almost impossible. Some people are like, Ebony, are you serious? Like, how do you get started during a pandemic when it seems like there's it's almost impossible to get started? Well. This is how. The first thing you wanna keep in mind is that a lot of things that you come up with as a dreamer slash entrepreneur, I call it, because part of being an entrepreneur is also being a dreamer and visualizing your goals, what you wanna have, seeing yourself doing something that is outside the norm. Well, with that being said, you also have to make sure that you're around people that are either gonna encourage you or around people that are going to um, help you get over the challenges. If you are surrounded by people that are naysayers or are negative or aren't really on your team or on the same page when making sure you're able to propel your vision forward, make sure that you are not sharing any of those things with those people and that you're not feeding into the negativity and giving yourself even more self-doubt. Because trust me, being an entrepreneur comes with a lot of self-doubt. There are a lot of days that you're going to be thinking to yourself, is this going to work? Can I make this work? You don't need added stress added to that, especially during a time when most people look at you like you're a little crazy for wanting to start a business. But I'm going to tell you why you're not crazy for wanting to start a business right now. For one, the world is still. Everything is still right now. Everything is slowed down. There's not much going on. This is the perfect time for you to go through all of your research, all your planning, figuring out all the things that you weren't able to spend time doing before. You now have extra time to do. This is also the time for you to really hone in on your niche. What is it that you specialize in? What are your strengths? What are some of the talents that you can share with other people? What are some of your passions? How does that equate into what your niche is? How does that come alive with what you have to offer to be able to put it into an active plan that you can execute well? You need to be consistent. Whatever it is you're going to start, whatever it is you want to start, you have to be consistent and disciplined. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be a lot of starting and stopping. I went through that myself. I would start something, then I would stop for a couple months, then I would start again. But in that time, during the duration where you might have to stop and take a step back in order to take two steps forward, then you also need to think about when you've stopped, why is it that you were stopping, and what is it that you need to iron out so that you can keep moving forward. So consistency is key. It doesn't mean just because you've been stopped for a little while, you have to give up on what it is that you want to do. It just means you might have to regroup. And let's talk about regrouping. Regrouping to me is exactly what's going on right now. This is a time in our lives when most of us have been the most still we have ever been before in our lives. Will we have that extra time to Netflix and chill? We have that extra time to spend with family. We have that extra time to watch movies and do research. Spend that time focusing on making your second start in life. This could be your time to have the extra time to go over 
all the things that you were putting aside before. And now you're like, I can take this moment to put into action a plan that I thought I would never be able to do before. This is your moment. During this time, when you are researching, planning, going back and regrouping, trying to execute what it is that you wanted to do, take this time to do market research. This is a perfect time to market research. Contact people that are already doing what you're doing. You would be shocked at the responses that you might get from people that you would think would never respond. I have reached out to so many people that were already doing similar things to what I wanted to do. And of course, not all of them responded. I didn't get a response back from everyone, but I got a response back from enough people to kind of pick their brain and ask them, hey, what was working for you? How did you get started? What are some tips or advice you might have for me? Then if it's a niche or if it's a talent that you can't find anyone else that's doing it, take this time then to maybe map out a survey. Ask people that you know, friends, family, associates, social media even. Ask them some things that they might like or dislike about what you have to offer. Maybe some feedback they want to give you to help you figure out the best way to execute your plan. You would be surprised at the number of people that would be willing to give you feedback about what it is you have to offer. Don't give up. Keep that wheel turning, keep that wheel going. Eventually everything will all come together. You will have pieces here and there that you have like your plan over here. You're gonna do your market research over here. You're going to regroup and think about some things that maybe you started and you had to stop. Maybe there are ways that you that you need to change that around or how you can do it better. There's perfectly fine, that's all part of the process. If you're already in business, the market research or market analysis is perfect for you. The surveys are perfect for you. Going onto social media, asking people for feedback about things that maybe worked for them before COVID-19 and things that are they would like to see to help the process easier for them to be able to access your services. This is the time to take to be able to pivot your business into the needs and the wants of the people that you are servicing. Do not think that you have to slow down just because the world has slowed down. Now, yes, there's going to be some parameters and challenges. We all know that, you know, a lot of places were in lockdown. I know in the States we are opening up now in phases. I know in parts of Africa, you guys are still in lockdown. So if you're not able to get out, make the phone calls. Start asking people, send out surveys, ask them what are their needs. You'll be surprised at the things that you could offer them to help them get through this time. There are still services you can offer. You just have to think outside the box and prepare yourself for when things do open up. You are one of the first people in line ready to go. All right, guys. So those were my tips for growing your business and growing your ideas and your visions into a successful plan that you can execute now. So like I said, don't wait. Now is the time. Get started. Get that plan going. Thanks, guys. And don't forget, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell.